You know, many times when you're trying something new in the kitchen and you're trying to eat whilst watching something, we've got just the film for you. The film Papinongena hits theatres today and we have Clementine Moisimane, who is the lead, chatting about this film and how making it was. But first, let's check out the trailer. Ik zie de Amerika op te komen. De officier heeft gezegd moet gaan. Kan nu weer extension krijgen. Die wet zei als een man niet op tien jaar voor diezelfde baas werkt, dan moet een vrouw gaan. Maar ik heb daar een zomaar gaan niet. Dat is af jouw huis hier. Wat wil je dat ik daar is daar maar mijn hele leven zie? Dat verstaan jy nie. Jy hoort jy nie. Jy sy immigrant in jou eie land. Als jy blij gaan, hulle jou opsluit. Dan moet ek net my pas recht maak. Dit is my only choice. Ek maak oorlog vir jou. Die wet, meneer. Hoekom is dit hard op vroeg mense? Jylle is nog genas. Jylle mag nie dat die wewe jylle ondervree. Nie aan die... Absolutely incredible film that looks like South African film industry definitely kicking it up a notch. Connect with us online if you have any questions for Clementine. All you need to do is tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. Welcome to Afternoon Express, Ma. Thank you so much. It's Marissa. such it's such a pleasure to have you. You are very much cemented as a household name in the South African film industry. If you have a television, we've definitely come across you on our screen many, many times. And now we see you in a very different film, a very gripping and vulnerable film. When you got that phone call saying that you have landed this lead role, how did, how did that feel like for you? Yeah. I remember I was asked to come to fly up to Cape Town and they said to me, it's a second call. When I got there, I was with the guy who's playing Stone, my husband, mm. and I'm like, Stone, what are you here? We are just the two of us, Vasi Anarmen, so it's us and the director. And I said to him, I have a feeling we are the ones going to do this film. Yeah. And they flew me back that afternoon, and after two to three weeks, I got a phone call. I was mm. in a mall in Sunning Hill, and I remember my director saying, Clementine was Christian. Yeah, Christian. And he said, Ye is me poppy, I will your work. And I was like, Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You're in front of people. Like, <laughs> yes, yes, but you yes. want to give that response. Yes. yes. <laughs> that is such a beautiful and honest response. I mean, I think a lot of us kind of shy away from celebrating wins yes. and, and living in the moment and realizing how big this is, not only for your career, but sharing a very important film and the story yeah. with, of course, South African audiences. The film Papi Nongena is a very touching, true life story film. So how was that for you? Is this your first time playing um, a real person, I suppose? Yes, this was the real first time for me to play a story, a character portraying a real person, a real icon. Absolutely. And, yeah. and how did that journey look like for you in terms of encapsulating all she was? Belisa, when you are an actress, I think there's a calling and an anointing that God has put on us. And once you get into the grip of what character you're playing, it's so difficult to say, this is what I do to pinpoint mm -hmm. It just comes automatically because you have to understand the character. You have to understand the mood of the scene. You have to understand where that scene is coming from and when, where is it taking you. Understand the journey mm. of the character. So automatically you have to be focused and also do not forget you've got a director, you've got a script that is written and that channels you.
and, and you continuously are speaking about understanding, this understanding of the character and the scene. Is this something that you sit down with the director and you're trying to piece together, or do you come up with it within yourself, within in that moment, as you had said? As I'm saying, this is a true story. Mm. By the way, Poppy Nongena, her true name mm. is Eunice Ntombizodumo Nzata. Mm. That's her real name. Mm. So if you have a character like her, she is not a made up character. Mm. She's a character that was there, that was living. You've got a, mm. a, a book, you've got a script that is directing you how she was going through the journey. Therefore, you have to wear that cap. It's unlike a, 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 a character that has been created and then you give it your persona. You can trans transform it. You transform mm -hmm. it even though there is direction to direct you what kind of a person that created character is like. Yeah. So because of your persona you also redirect it but with a real story like this you have to try and fit those shoes. Absolutely and fitting those shoes you had an opportunity to do in a weird way this week where you got the opportunity to miss to meet or Eunice family yeah how was that experience I'm sure that was was that an out-of-body experience did you feel like that's your family to a certain degree I can't say it was an out-of-body experience it was just bringing it just brought everybody to tears for them they were reliving mm -hmm. what they went through with their mother when she was still alive for me I was reliving Poppy Nongena on set it was, it was awesome. Mm. What a wonderful family they are. She's got two sisters, she's got two daughters and a son. Mm. And then her nephews were there. Mm. It was awesome, what just, a to know, just to know them. Mm. Yeah. Very moving. And I think that being supported and backed by such an incredibly talented cast and crew just made the experience and the making of this film what it was, as valuable as it was. What kind of lessons and how much growth does one take upon when they are surrounded by a star studded cast? And of course, bringing such premium work to the fore. You know, uh, uh, Balesa, Poppy's, uh, uh, May Eunice's family, I don't even think that they were aware how big this was. Even when the book was written, I don't know if they had a picture or an idea of how big she was or what she was carrying for them in the future. And mind you, it's not only for the family, it's for the women of South Africa, mm. it's for the domestic workers of South Africa, mm. because those Poppy Nongenas, they are still alive even today. Absolutely. And they speak in the story of so many that so many can relate to yeah. and, and feel like, hey, look, I might have upopi nongena within my family, shampu aunty, shampu koko, shampu yeah. ma. Yes. You know, you, you're never quite sure how to fit in. South African audiences are hopefully going to be flooding and flocking to cinemas this weekend, going to watch Popi nongena. What can they expect from the film? I know a lot of people, especially the young folk, they do not know who Me Popinongena was, who Me Eunice was. They are going to learn the journey that she traveled, not only her, but the mothers of South Africa. Mm. They are going to understand the type of government that was ruling at the time, what it did to people's personas, mm. what it did to people's families, tearing families apart tearing marriages apart, communities apart. And that is the journey we come from. And I just have to say, this story, removing the political aspect of it, it has also got that woman-to-woman -woman talk, mother-to-mother -mother talk. It is a story for women to reconnect with their help us in the homes mm. to reconnect with the next woman to understand who are you and what are you going through and just to help you walk that journey mm. and carry that struggle with you. We all have to be there to back each other, work with each other and understand where each is coming from mm. in order for us to make it easier and yeah. more palatable for the next. And as much as, yes, it is black and white, but you look at Mrs. Swanupul, my madam, who was, who, who was playing yes, my madam. madam. <laughs> I know her. Yeah. It was... She also tried to fit into Poppy's life, saying, And it's ending tomorrow, it's finishing tomorrow, this thing. She tried to walk the journey with her. And it was not a matter of color. The government of the day didn't care. They had a mandate, and it was to get rid of black people. Mm. She went there unconsciously as a woman, and she said, I'm here to help. This is it. Not even you can help her. Wow. Yeah. 
What a gripping tale. What an incredible story. Thank you so much for being brave and courageous and, of course, taking on this role with such confidence. And Because I think a lot of creatives and actresses and actors who take the journey for granted might see someone like you, a veteran in the game, <laughs> someone who we know, love and connect with, being yes. able to tell such a powerful story. We definitely do encourage every South African to celebrate all South African content and, of course, go out to cinemas and watch Upo. This is a story for black and white. Let us not be speaking yes. hate speech. Let us not be regretful. Some of us as black people, we don't even know that history. Some of the white people also didn't know that history. It is a South African history. Let us go and watch it and embrace it and move forward. Beautiful. Moving forward is exactly what we're doing here on Afternoon Express. And we're saluting the entire team that brought such a powerful film to the fore. Now join us after the break as we chat about skin cleansing. Plus we meet the team from Underground Pro DJ Academy. See you after the break.